This is life right now, you guys. Happy quarantine and chill. Found my chestnut lip liner. I'm so mad. Wow. Just came home to this. <laughs> Thing is, I knew it fell out of my bag, and I know exactly what day it was because my lipsticks fell out and I picked them up, but I didn't know this fell out, so I didn't see it. Obviously, it's my car that crashed it because I found it in my parking spot. <sighs> hey guys, checking in live from quarantine. When I went grocery shopping, I didn't get every single thing I needed because some things were sold out. And also, I went 30 minutes before the store closed, but I did that because I was trying to go when the chaos was over, and luckily it actually was. There wasn't really much people in the grocery store. They were actually waiting for me to get out because obviously the employees were over it, but yeah, so... I made a little list of some things I need to pick up. I also need more disinfectant wipes um, and like cleaner, um, turkey bacon because it was gone. Turkey bacon for some reason is so hard to find sometimes. It's really annoying. I'm also going to pick up some wine. And I need lash glue. I keep forgetting to pick lash glue. Like listen, I know I'm in quarantine and all, but I still got to film videos and take pictures. So a bitch needs lash glue. So you hey guys, I'm back from the grocery store. Actually, I got back. A little while ago, but um, I'm just prepping to start cooking some dinner because I'm starving. I also just finished editing a video, so yeah, I'm hungry. These are all the things I picked up from the grocery store. Yeah, you guys already know, okay, this quarantine thing is real. And also, I mean, there is Uber Eats and stuff like that, but like we're trying to save money, and you guys already know that stuff adds up. We got food at home. One Uber Eats or Skip the Dishes or DoorDash meal is equivalent to, you know, like, a couple things that you can pick up at the store so there's some other stuff in the freezer I got some meat as well but I'm gonna show you guys these first because my counter is full as hell um, I got some lettuce some carrots I got carrots because I'm gonna be making chili stew chicken and just like a few other things I just want to make sure I have like most if not all ingredients that I you know have because honestly like I have been planning meals and recipes in my head for the next few weeks um, so yeah, it's a bag of lemons, obviously. I started eating turkey bacon instead, but unfortunately, they are sold out. This is the second time I've gone to the grocery store to get, um, turkey bacon, and it's gone. So, I just got this maple. I opened it already, but, um, I just got this maple bacon. I charged my battery and ended up basically finishing making my dinner. I'm just waiting on the salmon. I threw it back in the oven after sauteing it in my pot. But um, I did this recipe for this garlicky roasted broccoli. I suck at cutting broccoli. Like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like it's so simple, but like, I don't know. <laughs> broccoli usually looks better than this. But anyways, yeah. So I just did this like recipe with olive oil, apple cider vinegar because I didn't have rice vinegar, red pepper, chili flakes, butter, garlic powder. You could do garlic. I just did garlic powder because I didn't feel like chopping up garlic. And it tastes really, really good. I was not in the mood for the like soft boiled broccoli. I'm really just over that. So I just looked up some recipes and I found this one. If you guys want the recipe, let me know. I'll put it in the description bar or in the comments. I'll, I'll drop it for you guys. And then I just made some white rice. And then here is the salmon. Then I put it in the oven first. Then I put it in the pan with honey, butter, red pepper flakes, garlic, and a few other things. It's basically a honey garlic salmon recipe that I also found. I did make this before. Oh, and soy sauce. It's freaking amazing. So anyways, I got some baby spinach, yellow potatoes, and I got some sweet potatoes. Y'all know I love me some sweet potatoes. I got some limes for like when I make tacos and also um... What else do I use lime for? I don't remember. Oh, the drink that my dad makes me drink. Like, I need to keep my immune system strong. It's so gross, but, like, anyways, yeah. Um, I picked up some cheese. This is the cheddar trio. Broccoli, which is what I just used. I'm going to put some of these things away so because, y'all, I got a lot of things. I got quite a few things. So I also got some eggs, obviously. I do have some eggs in my fridge, but I just needed to stock up because it's halfway finished already. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the fridge. Whoop, okay. Let's not try to do things for the vlog. 
before I break my eggs. Got me some time. I always gotta have some time in my fridge for when I'm cooking. You already know. <laughs> if you cook, you know you need this in your kitchen. Period. Period. I also got a bag of avocados for my avocado toast, for my tacos, for my smoothies. I've never bought this brand before, but I picked up these street taco tortillas. Flour tortillas. They're smaller than what I'm used to. I usually buy like the wraps for tacos. But then they're always so big and I just kind of want to be more authentic with my tacos. I make tacos a lot, like so. Yeah. Another necessity in my kitchen. Scallion or green onion. For my carbs, I got me some cinnamon, cin cinnamon, cinnamon raisin bagels. I love this with cream cheese. This also tastes really good with peanut butter. And then I got some multi-grain bread. This is not the bread I usually buy, but you guys know we don't really have much of <laughs> much variety right now at a lot of our grocery stores. So I just went with that. Also, it was on sale. And then I got some hot chocolate. This goes in my Keurig machine, which is just so it's just lit. Like I love that. I didn't know that to be honest. I just thought Keurigs were for coffee, but they have teas coffees and hot chocolates and stuff like that for Keurigs and then I just got some more coffee I got the caramel drizzle Folgers one I got me some tomatoes I don't really eat tomatoes like that and I don't eat it in salads for some reason I'm really weird when it comes to tomatoes but on avocado toast and um on my burger love it that's pretty much the only time I really think I don't like cooked tomatoes like when it's sauteed or once it's warm I don't like it crushed Red pepper, I just use this on my broccoli and my salmon. More sweet peppers, I love orange peppers. This is what I had left before, so I just picked up another one. I have green, red, and yellow in my fridge already, so I need some blackberries. I got me some whipped cream for my pancakes and for my hot chocolate. Almond milk, I got some juice. I've never bought this one before, but I already opened it. It tastes really, really good. Raspberry lemonade from Simply is so good. Like, so good. It's my favorite juice. Apart from, like, guava juice. I didn't find any guava juice, so, yeah. Coconut water. I use this in my smoothies. I got some pancakes, some red onions. I was looking for immunity shots because I know... First of all, everyone is out here buying toilet paper and stuff like they're going to eat it. And then they leave all the healthy things. Like, y'all need to make sure you're drinking your kombucha or your immunity shots. Your freaking... What do you call it? Wheatgrass shots, turmeric shots. I picked up tantric turmeric. I've had this one before. It's pretty good. And then this is my second favorite. My first favorite one is the guava, but they didn't have it. But this one is really, really good if you're looking for a kombucha that is like sweet. It's kind of like a fruit punch. I got some strained tomatoes and tomato paste if you're wondering why. It's because um, I like making chili. I just need to show you guys my meats and the wines I picked up. So I'm going to put these away. So I'm going to show you my meats and then yeah, ground turkey or minced turkey for the turkey chili and also when I make tacos, I got two. Some fresh Atlantic salmon, some beef burgers. This is not what I usually buy. I usually get my beef burgers at Walmart because they have like some really good brands. I don't remember the name of the brand, but it's like the charcoal gray box and they come with eight. I was kind of annoyed that there's only six. I was going to buy two boxes, but then I'm like, that's kind of extra. I have so many other meats why do i need um 12 burgers <laughs> like marinating fast fry steak i like steak tacos and also i do see some people cooking up some meals with like steak and rice and veggies and stuff steak stir fry is really good so i just kind of you know we're, we're, i'm gonna be home so <laughs> i have time to try new recipes and things like that that was basically why i got so many things so i picked up some wine you guys know i like white wine <laughs> But you guys know I'm still like new to red wine, so I still just really fuck with this one, Apothic Red. It's a California wine. Ugh, this is like so good. This is the best red wine I have tried. As you can see, I already had some. Poured me a glass. It's really light. Let me just turn this down a bit. There we go. Yeah, I already poured me up a glass. As you can see, you just put some foil in there. This is the best tasting red wine. I don't really know how to describe the taste because apparently the way I describe red wines is not how people describe them like I'd be like oh it's sweet and dry but dry means bitter and when people say oh yes it has so much so much juicy grape like it's like a stronger grape so obviously with me thinking juicy grape I'm thinking oh it's sweet cuz like grape it's sweet and the guy was like no it's dry <laughs> so I'm just like you know what 
I'm just gonna go based off of taste. I know now that I like California red wine. Um, Shanice, Natural Nisi, put me on to Malbec. It's actually not that bad. I tried Stella Rosa Black when we went to Mexico. That shit tastes like juice. Like, that was a little bit too sweet for me. If you're looking for a red wine or you're looking to get into red wine and you're not really sure, try this one out. And then I picked up some Moscato. You should do Jacob's Creek, but I, again, I wanted to switch up the brand. So we did Bodacious. This is light, fruity, and sweet. I'm gonna have this tonight. I'll let you guys know how it tastes when I make my plate for my dinner that I'm about to have. I'm excited because I'm starving. If you guys have any, like, must-have or your favorite white wines, Red wines or both, let your girl know, especially red wine. Like, I definitely would only purchase any different red wines if I have recommendations from people because I'm not about to, no. Okay, red wine, I'm still getting into it, but, and I'm watching Grey's Anatomy. I'm so obsessed with the show and I'm just like, it just makes me so emotional. I'm hooked. Because a lot of you guys keep messaging me saying, girl, just you wait. You guys are warning me, like, my heart is going to be ripped out of my chest. I'm going to be so sad, which I, I, if that's the case, then I know I'll be because um, I cry. Because you guys are scaring me, not going to lie. But yeah, anyways, if you guys have any other good shows to watch during this quarantine, let me know. I mean, we can all help each other out right now. Here's the broccoli, the rice, and the salmon. I, only, I cut it in half just because, like, it's kind of late. And, I mean, this is more than enough food. I have a pretty small like appetite. I went for the Moscato and it's really good. It's actually, I like this better than the Jacob's Creek. I like this one better, to be honest. Cheers you guys, happy quarantine. I hope you guys are <laughs> enjoying um, time out. What the, I don't even know. Okay, we'll get through this, this two shall pass. But um, I just finished making some bomb steak tacos for the first time. I have a sriracha mayo sauce, which I really love with um, steak tacos. Yummy, yummy. I love me some tacos. <laughs> hey. Look at this cute bottle opener that I got at HomeSense. It says you had me at Merlot. So I was reading the description of this wine yesterday and it's actually a blend. Oh, it has Merlot in it. So this wine is a blend of Zinfandel, Cabernet, Sauvignon, Syrah. I don't know what Syrah wine is and Merlot. This wine is so good. I should have picked up two bottles. I forgot that I had some stuff in the snack cupboard. So I picked up some ketchup chips. I don't know why I picked these up. Like if I had purchased barbecue chips instead, they would have been done by now. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Y'all, I've been finishing all my quarantine snacks and it's only like day six. Okay, these, oh my god. I've heard about these for, I've known about these for a while. I know people talk about how good they are all the time, but typically when I've tried it, I don't remember it tasting as good as this, so I'm going to just assume it's because of this flavor. This flavor, I don't know what flavor I had before. The Zesty Ranch, like this is it. I finished this in like two days. It's so good. It's literally, guys, this is how much is left, so. Who are you growling at? You good, sis? This girl got out her, her bed and <laughs> her blanket's still on her. Hey, you guys, it's super late right now. If you're wondering what that was, that was just my heat I turned on because it's freaking cold. But I just got my, well, not just, but I got my hair done, finally. Slayed. So I can get back to filming my videos tomorrow. I was actually supposed to film today a try on haul. Um, which is a sponsored video, but you know, I was out here looking like Aunt Jemima, so obviously I had to, <laughs> you know, deal with that. Um, why did I put this on the counter? I'm just gonna go sit down. I'm super duper mm. excited to film tomorrow. I haven't filmed a try and haul in a while, to be honest, so. I just feel cute, I'm feeling myself, thank god. I just made my first TikTok, and it was so embarrassing. I did the pew 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 <laughs> thing with the big bobble head. I might take it down. But in the moment, it was fun, and when I watched it back, I was like, yeah, this is actually really funny, so. Maybe I might leave it, but I don't know. I'm really feeling my skin and like just my bare face right now. I do want lash extensions, and I'm kind of mad that I didn't get them before this whole social distancing. Why? 
Did I say it properly? Because I feel like I'm not saying social distancing. Social distancing. Wow. 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 You know what? It's the braces because I, on God, you guys, I have never had trouble saying that word before. I've definitely said it before. But, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I actually put on my elastics today. I've been slacking. I probably haven't had them on in like two days. And I'm supposed to wear them. Every day. Full time. And just change them when I brush my teeth. And when I'm eating. So obviously I'm not doing that well. But every time I put on my elastics. It makes my mouth feel tender. But um. Yeah I'm just drinking some white wine. I'm gonna watch Grey's Anatomy. You know regular shit it's super late um probably gonna fall asleep in my couch like i normally do i'm gonna film tomorrow i also have to take some i have to get back to work basically i have some content to shoot now that my hair's done i'm actually supposed to do a, a sewing closure or frontal or maybe leave out but uh what happened why didn't we do that again all i had was either a three-part closure and some bundles so she would have had to do a sew-in and i didn't want to do a sew-in because i want to be able to take it off i just need my hair done so i can you know film what i gotta film i'm done like trying to always have perfect hair because no one has perfect hair and first of all i live alone i have the best advantage and i don't leave my house and now it's like it's freaking self-quarantine whatever this is the perfect time for me to actually get back to um giving my hair the TLC that it needs so that oh I got a trim today you guys I'm so excited because my ends were disgusting I don't know if I showed you guys or not like I should have showed you guys it straight it was nasty as soon as she started cutting she's like oh my god it looks so much better I was like oh my god I know thank you I was about to do it myself anyway so yeah she trimmed my hair for me oh, my hair just <laughs> trim my hair you guys and don't wait don't wait long like it was like I don't know why I was holding on to such dead straggly split ends like i really don't understand i just want to be able to like have my hair done when i need it done but like other than that if i'm not filming if i'm not taking pictures i like i need my scalp to be moisturized oiled up deep conditioning weekly but uh when i first went natural in grade 10 i transitioned i never did a big shop so i've never actually had like a really really short hair from what i remember the shortest my hair was was when i first started youtube when i was in college and i cut my hair into a bob and i had highlights my real hair if you go to, don't go to my first video never mind or my second video never mind okay don't go there <laughs> don't go to the archive when i first initially went natural i watched so many videos i was educated on what to do i was motivated i was deep conditioning every week i was doing hot oil treatments my hair was thriving it grew so fast it was so healthy thick just mm. I, I was doing my thing and it showed and I kind of just not even kind of I definitely let myself go started depending on always having my hair done in a frontal or just sleekness and this whole perfection and looking slayed all the time like it's not real life holding on to a sew-in a wig or whatever for a week or two weeks because you for who for what Ooh. hold up let's take it from the top it's my swerve on floss pure rocks. I can tell by the jewels you go for the ice. You're like, ooh, let's bounce. Uh. uh oh, uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this whole self-quarantine thing. Um, unfortunately for influence, well not unfortunately, I'm very happy that I get to work from home. But now I have to take my own pictures because um, anybody that can take my pictures is not close. I am wearing this cute romper. <sighs> I'm like doing test shots right now on the little tripod that I have. But um, my makeup is looking like fucking butter today. Wait, there we go. Butter! I love it! <laughs> I love it! So I'm gonna take this shot first. Um, I'm just very optimistic about it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go well. I just gotta figure out what camera and figure out the lighting. I have to close the blinds because every time I do a test shot, there's a glare on the mirror, it's a, like, and then there's a glare on me hate that so yeah hopefully i get some good shots and then i can just go and get those ones downstairs and then shoot that outfit 
and then edit my other video. So yeah, <laughs> honestly. Well, hey guys. When I say I, I'm crying right now. I'm. It's super late. I'm cooking food because I'm hungry. I'm, had, I'm making barbecue chicken and some macaroni salad. Don't know what else I'm gonna make, but I do have leftover rice. Again, it's late, so I probably don't even need all that. But you know, quarantine thing. Um, there's this DJ from here in Toronto. And he basically has a whole party going on right now on Instagram Live. And when I tell you, like, everyone in Toronto is tuned in right now. I'm seeing, like, everyone in the comments. I'm just crying because it's just so funny. It's a stripper party. <laughs> this is my song. This is so I'm gonna have to blur this out because there's bare body jaw and bare body cheeks on my screen right now, but... This is life right now, you guys. Happy fucking quarantine and chill. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Everyone's cheering. Yes, Pinky. Oh my god, I'm trying to hear the music, DJ Snoopy. You know, I hate Jamaican DJs. Everybody I know right now is in this live and we're all just enjoying it and talking mad shit. Okay, foot in the air. <laughs> <laughs> so honestly I didn't vlog at all today I didn't really do much today other than edit two videos honestly that's literally it and just um caught up with a friend over the phone that I hadn't talked to in quite some time but I know you guys like to see what I eat or what I make so today I just kept it super simple just have some chicken breast some white rice that I had left over from when I made my salmon and some steamed broccoli I added some black pepper salt butter and garlic powder and a little bit of basil and then I just used um, paprika black pepper salt garlic powder and oregano to the chicken breast when it was time to take it out the oven I noticed that it was kind of dry which obviously with chicken breast you know if you don't put any sauce on it it is gonna be pretty dry and you know I wanted a little bit of savoriness and sauciness on it so I just mixed a little bit of soy sauce honey water and apple cider vinegar I added it to both sides of the chicken and just um popped it back in the oven so it could soak into the chicken a little bit and I didn't taste it fully yet but I tasted the sauce and it tasted really really good I just honestly what I do is I look up like things sauces or mixtures that you can add to chicken breast or whatever it is I'm cooking if it's dry so yeah, definitely, like, this is more <laughs> what I'm craving right now. This is literally what she does when I cook, and I'm in the kitchen. She just, and my girl is waiting for her little piece of food. Ain't that right, Coco? Do you want some? Watch her, watch her, watch her. You want some? Do you want some chicken? Here. Hi, boo-boo. Hi, bubs. Hi, bubs. took way longer than expected um i went to lcbo first because it's the closest to where i live and there was a line 
So I was actually the last person that they let in the line. Like a few people came after me and they kept saying, oh, sorry, she's the last person they're letting in. So this one girl was actually like, hey, can you please grab me something? Like, I'll give you my card and whatever. So I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. I went all the way to Brampton to my doctor because I just had to pick up like a new prescription for my birth control. Well, they already prepped it for me two days ago. They're actually doing deliveries right now because of the whole COVID thing. But because I don't live in Brampton anymore, they were like, oh, sorry, that's too far. Um, you're gonna have to come pick it up. And I was like, damn. I'm gonna show you guys the wines that I have because I actually just took these out. So I picked up some more wine. I don't really wanna have to leave my house again. It's just better to stock up. So I got these two and then I got the smooth red to this one. My uncle actually raves about this one. So I was like, you know what? Let me get, try this red. Then I got some Riesling because I really like Riesling. I don't know why I never, I've never purchased Riesling before, like, for my house, but when I go out to eat and stuff, sometimes I'll order a Riesling, and then I got Ogi, which is Pinot Grigio. I had this a while ago for the first time. When did I buy this? Like, back in November, and it was really, really good, so I'm just buying, this is my third time buying it. But this should last me for, like, a month and a half, like, I should be good. And then I picked up some vitamins, so firstly, I picked up these Centrum Multi Gummies. I picked up some cranberry pills. I've been meaning to get my hands on these for a while. Um, as you can see, they help prevent recurrent urinary tract infections, or UTIs. Then I picked up some biotin. I just finished my Sugar Bear Hair Gummies, so um, yeah. <laughs> I picked these up today, and I got this one. There were so many, but just looking at it, this one has collagen in it, as you can see right there. This one has collagen, so I'm like, you know what, let me just get this one. Okay, my bag, you guys, camera died. This is just like my spot for now. I'm trying to, this is the only place I can think of to put all these for now, which is pretty convenient, not gonna lie, it's kind of cute. But um, I don't like the wood in my kitchen, like I really don't like it. So when I change the spice rack to black or like ceramic, I'm gonna have to figure out, I'm gonna look on Pinterest to see like vitamin setups, vitamin organization for your kitchen. I actually was thinking about getting those, you guys know those acrylic organizers that people have with like all their vitamins in it? Yeah, so after the biotin, I got some iron, oops, I got some iron plus vitamins and I mean iron is pretty self-explanatory and you guys can see right there so this is what I have already so I take these and the actual one I was gonna pick up they are first of all let me just say that omega-3 gummies are huge so I had to get the one that is 50% smaller so because it's 50% smaller I have to take three a day this is the vitamin D that I take right now they are liquid drops I just put some in like my water or my tea um on my coffee whatever i'm drinking um in the morning this is the only one i haven't taken yet because like honestly these pills are freaking huge you guys like huge i can take pills and capsules or whatever but this is kind of like i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of nervous oh then i just picked up some dishwasher detergent this is actually what i went into the store for along with the vitamins and then i picked up like some bread some some bread some pasta sauces because when i went to the grocery store yesterday there was literally no sauces you guys like none this is literally what i picked up i don't even eat this this is all i saw yesterday just laying there everything was the rose first of all there was no classico if you know about classico you know they have they're the best so much variety when it comes to pasta sauces i love their aloe vodka and rose and whatever none none so I literally just saw this and I'm like, mmm, arrabbiata. I feel like I've ordered something with this type of pasta sauce before, so I just picked it up. But these were on sale in Shoppers Drug Mart for $2.99. So I was like, yeah, let me just grab that. I'm not really an Alfredo person, but I mean, right now I don't really have a choice. It's either this or nothing. And then I got some rosé because I love me some rosé. Then I also picked up some pizza. I picked up three of these. These are really, really good. I just popped one in the oven because I came home and it was kind of late. I forgot to take out any meat to thaw out the freezer. So, I was just like, I'm tired. Like, why? I'm not going to do that to myself tonight. I usually do cook kind of late sometimes, and I'm trying to cut that down. So, I'm just going to make my life easier tonight and just have some pizza, some wine, because, you know, we got options. And just edit and watch Netflix. Story of my life. Okay, so the pizza is actually ready. Just took it out, and... Yum, it smells so good. I'm about to, to be honest, 
it's thin crust so i know this looks like a lot but i might actually end up eating this whole thing by the end of the night because it's not that filling like one little slice is not that filling and it's super light this is my first time trying this brand oh this smells good what is this a nine ounce that i poured myself i don't know but anyways peace you guys